Hey folks, um, it's a mini. It's orange, and I'm using it as my wallet. Um, anyway, um, just wanted to put these side by side. Um, I think that I talked about in a video before. I don't remember. Maybe not. Um, but anyway, I got this. Um, my wallet that I was carrying around was dying. And I was very inspired by a few different people's posts and videos about um, using um, minis or M2s as wallets, um, capture um, for ideas and such. Um, and I wanted to give it a try. So um, I've actually tried this before, but I didn't actually... It was kind of a different system, and I hadn't really figured out how to com compartmentalize it. Um, and this is kind of, so I've tried a mini before, but not exactly this way. So um, anyway, we'll plunge right in. I'll just sort of show you. I've got um, in the pocket back here, um, I've got some cash and a receipt I have to file. Um, and I have my driver's license, my work ID, some business cards, a few store cards, and all of my credit cards and such. And then, um, which I actually just used... This is exactly the um, exactly the same thing that Kent from Oz did in his mini video, which I'll try to remember to link, um, where I just bought um, a vinyl um, card holding insert for a wallet, and then cut. It came as like a little booklet of them that you would stick in your wallet, um, and I just cut them out and punched them and stuck them in here with the cards, but exactly the same as Kent's, um, the, the cards are load from the side towards the ring, so you're not, they're not going to slide out through the top or the side or anything. These are, um, quite secure. Um, I'd be more concerned about the pages themselves eventually kind of ripping out of the rings than the cards falling out of them. Um, and then back here, I just have a little, just, a little note paper. Um, some of this is note paper, some of this is address sheets. Um, and all I use this for is literally like I'm walking around, I keep this in my, it, you know, it's big to keep in your pocket, but I keep it in my pocket. And I suddenly remember something I need to write down. I don't have this with me, so I write it in here. And then I basically transfer it in here eventually. So I really don't need a lot of paper in here. Um, I just kind of keep enough so that um, it's fairly easy to write. I, and base, it sort of pads it because I'm actually um, this back pocket I am keeping some coins in um, and so that makes it a little bit... Oops, can you see? Yes you can see. Um, that makes it a little lumpy so um, having extra paper under it makes it a little bit easier to write on. Um, this is a zebra. Uh, can we focus? Probably not. I don't know what's wrong with this camera today. Anyway, um, it's a zebra mini pen um, and you just go like that and you can write. When you pull it out the, pa the tip um, reveals itself and then you push it back together and the tip retracts and it fits perfectly in this pen loop um, and it cost much less than a Filofax mini pen um, and I like zebras and it's a it's a ballpoint um, which is good to have with you um, if you need to s sign a check or address an envelope or something it's not going to run um, I don't know if you can see um, this was brand new in a box and when I got it the leather all looked like this and then just I mean I've only been using this for a week and it looks like a snake shedding its skin here. Um, see all of that. Um, so anyway, I knew that the peeling was a problem on the Filofax Classic, which is the successor to the Filofax Cross, which is what this is. Mini Cross. Italian leather. Um, anyway, um, Basically, like the first time I opened it, I noticed that this it the this coating on here crazed, and then it's just sort of getting worse and worse. So, um, 
Despite the fact that I thought I might avoid that with the cross, it clearly is a problem that impacts at least this color of cross or maybe this size of cross. Um, when you open it, you see it does crinkle pretty, like the leather is forced to sort of crinkle up a good bit here. Um, so anyway, um, I'm not letting that bother me. Um, I know that um, this the color is not rendering quite right in this light and on this camera it's um it's very much a pumpkin color I really like it um, and it's I think my only complaint about it is it's a little bit chunky um, I, it's I mean I knew that modern when modern minis are a good bit fatter than like the mini Windsor that I used to have. Um, the Mini Windsor was a nicer, it had smaller, it had 11 millimeter rings, I believe that these are 13 or maybe even 15 uh, millimeter, they're fairly large. Um, but, um, what am I talking about? Anyway, this fits in my pocket, so I can carry it with my trouser pocket. I put it in my front pocket because I'm afraid of sitting on it. Um, if I put it in the back pocket, which is where I usually carry my wallet. So that's made me kind of have to rethink how I carry my keys and my phone and stuff like that. But um, I like having something. So if this doesn't work, um, I will look into, um, there's a few other, I mean, I might just get just a conventional wallet to hold my cards and cash to keep in my back pocket and then get some kind of a very slim, sturdy, um, maybe a bound notebook to use with a little pen like this to use as this sort of notes capture on the fly. It's it's really, really nice. I, I have my personal size planner with me most of the time, but um, not all the time. There are times, especially at work, when like my hands are full and this is just another thing to carry. Um, this is having this in my pocket just this week. There were so many things that I like caught myself out and about that I wanted to write down, and I had this, and that was great. And um, I know a lot of people use electronic for that, but I really I hate trying to um, enter data into. There's something about writing things out with my hand that just is, it's more natural to me, it seems to be faster and more efficient, and I'm more likely to remember it. Um, I put notes sometimes in my phone and then forget that I put them there, and then I find them like two years later when I'm performing like a, a backup or something like that. I'm like, oh, wow. I guess I dropped the ball on that. So, anyway, um, that's the mini. Um, we'll look at these sort of side by side. You see it's not that slim, um, but it is a cute little thing. Um, definitely gives me daydreams about whether I could make this work as my like planner. Um, I think that I could, but I'm not going to. Um, I could at least try it. It might be a fun experiment, but I'm not going to bother because I hate trying to get all that information incorporated back. I know this works and works well, and so we'll just keep using this. But anyway, so that's my mini wallet. I um, just wanted to show it off quickly, and um, we'll see what happens with this. <laughs> Goodness me. You know, this model was on the market for a very long time. I'm really surprised that Filofax was able to, I mean, if this happened, you know, it wasn't too expensive, but it wasn't too cheap either, so, anyway, um, I'll stop yakking now, um, if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll update as this develops, but for the moment, I'm very happy with this, so, um, talk soon, take care, bye-bye.